Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model this this brick um, brick wall. And okay, so let's start. So um, actually, um, previously, so day five three two. So we did a brick screen. So we used curtain wall. So um, um, actually, today I'm going to create a similar brick screen first and t tomorrow we or, tom or the day after uh, we're going to uh, finish this one so I'm going to create two videos for this one okay so let's do it so first um, this time we're going to model it as a adaptive family okay so now let's go generic model adaptive so create a new adaptive family so in here so first I want to create two uh, just place two points and make it adaptive make them adaptive okay so select them create a spline and make a reference line so this will be the 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 length of the wall okay so okay so now let me just um, maybe I'll just place it along to that point but I don't think it's very important, but uh, just let's just do it this way. So now this is a reference line. So select this reference line and create form. So now we have a height. Okay, so select this form. So you will see this is a positive offset. So we can use this one as a height of this uh, brick wall or brick screen. Okay, so click on this one. Let's create, let's call it uh, H and maybe instance parameter and OK and OK. So now if you go to family types, you can change this height. So let me just change to maybe 27. OK, and also, of course, if you move the adaptive point, you will change the width of this wall. OK, so now this is a, f a surface, right? So select this surface and you can click on this uh, divide surface and then we have a pattern so we uh, we are going to choose a pattern okay so this one so rectang uh, rectangle uh, che checkerboard okay so select this one so now you will see this is the you know solid and void so you'll see uh, this is um, uh, empty this is so this is a, a face so what we need to do now is um, so first I wanted to change the the grid the grid the the spacing okay so if I uh, if I go back to this so if uh, let me just zoom in if I can zoom in so you will see this is one brick if you look at um, maybe I'll just draw do this okay so if you look at this area so let me change the color okay so this will be full brick width okay so if I draw it here so this is full brick width and then so if you look at this one so this so uh, today we're going to model this as a empty okay so it will be empty a void so it will be a void here so a void here and then so this is the depth of the uh, not depths uh, the, this is the length of the brick so this will be the the yeah the depths so it will be something like this okay so another for length so um, let's just uh, say 240 okay so 240 so this one will be 110 then this is 240 again so now so the one under this will be and this gap will be 110 and then go here so this will be 240 and this will be 110 so this and then repeat okay so this is solid this is a void this is solid and this is solid and then and if you uh, repeat this pattern so you will get the whole uh, brick screen so of course without these um, two 
uh, bricks. Okay, so now let's go back to Revit. And so, so apparently these are the, the, the size of this are not correct. So let's change this first. So change this to fixed distance. And let's try, it will be, uh, oh, hang on, let, let me just go back to here. So it will be 86 for this. Okay, so let's ch change this to 86. Yeah. And also, I want this pattern to start from this, from this end. Okay, so change this to uh, justification to beginning. Yep, yeah, all good. And then we need to adjust the adjust um, the width of this okay so let's just go back here so um what we're going to do is if you look at this so what we need is we need the size here okay so it will be something like this so this will be the grid and then so imagine this is a solid part we just need to extend so we need to figure out what this one is and what this one is and also of course we need to also know what this one is okay so let's have a look of this one so how can we work out this um uh <laughs> let me think okay um so this is 110 this is 240, so this is uh, maybe we can just do this from here. And hang on, let me just do another one here. Okay, so now we have uh, this distance will be 55 okay so this is 55 if i to draw this it's 55 and then extend it to here so this is a uh, 240 so half of the 240 is one sorry 120 <laughs> and then so this grid will be 175 so so which means uh, i believe this one equals this one so it's 175 right and then we know this 175 and also because this is 240 and so 240 minus 175 so which means we get this bit and this bit okay so 240 minus 175 equals 5 uh, 665 so which means each each end so this end if divided by 2 so it's uh, 32.5 so what we need is we just need to 175 for the grid and then 32.5 uh, uh, extension on each side okay so now let's go back to Revit and then select this uh, divided surface and um, go here. So change this to fixed distance, 175, okay? And then now we just need to um, create a pattern-based family. So with extension on each side. So now let's go family, new family and create a so let's just use generic model pattern based and click OK also open and then so now um, uh, actually I'm not sure which saw is correct I'll just um, try I'll just uh, try okay so one uh, I think I should be 86 I'll just type 86 and 175 uh, yeah so uh, if Oops, where is it? Uh, let's try the A. Yeah. Okay, select this divided surf so it won't go away. <laughs> so select this one, create a form, create a solid. So I think um, let's make it uh, what depths? Depths will be 
110. So 110. So if you wanted to, you can give it a material or create a material parameter, but I'll just leave it as it is. And then we just need to extend this side and this side. Okay, so let's tab, select this face and create form. And also tab, select this face, create form. Okay, so oh, actually I forgot to change the, the, the this offset. Look, let's go back, so 32.5. So type in 32.5 and also back to this face, 32.5. And also I, I don't want to see this line and these lines. Just use a join, this, 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 this. So now this is it, okay? so. Actually, I'm not sure if this is a, a uh, the right uh, or, uh, direction, but let's just uh, load this. Okay, now select this divided surface and then, oh, hang on, I forgot, I forgot to change the, sorry about that, let's go back. So this is very important before you model this thing you need to change this to the correct uh, pattern. So let's change this to rectang rectangle checkboard, okay? So yeah, maybe we need to do it again. So let's just delete this form and select this, create a form, pick uh, this solid, type in 110. Okay, so tab select this face, create a form, type in 32.5 and Another one, tab, select, create a form, 32.5, join, this one, this one, this one, this one. So now load and overwrite. Okay, so select this divided surface again. So now this time it come under this uh, rectangle checkboard. Okay, so click on family file. Okay, so it looks like we uh, <laughs> we did it on, you know, wrong direction. So maybe let's go back so let's do it again okay so select just delete this part and also delete this part we just don't actually don't need to worry about this okay don't worry about this you just need to select this face create form type in 32.5 once again tab select create form 32.5 and okay so now you can join join and uh, now, uh, why is that the line there still? And let's try to, uh, I don't know. Oh, looks like there's something there. So uh, maybe I'll delete it. Yeah, that's better. Now I load this into the, the this family and override. So now that's better. So, and that's actually that's it so it's 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 much easier than the the other um, method that we did before which is uh, array so um and now let's try so you can drag this point it will automatically uh, create uh, uh, adjust this uh, divide, uh, divided surface okay so you can also change the change the height so if i go to it's a little bit hard to pick that uh, device surface you need to probably just turn on the surface and try to pick this so now you will see this but because we already have this height parameter so you can just go to family type so here so 21 okay three meter and oh good and also another option is uh, you can so currently it's partial right it's partial you have half brick here and you can also choose to to be empty yeah and also even uh, over hand so it's more flexible so i think partial is quite good because you can it's it's not still uh, there's a little bit overhand there, but uh, I think it's better than it looks better. So if you try to fit this in, you know, some opening, I think this is quite uh, good. Um, okay, so today um, 
yeah i think th that that's it for today so today we will just stop here so because this is actually a quite good uh, family you can use for uh, in your um, project as well and tomorrow we are going to add these bricks so see this one so with different height oh sorry not diff different depths and uh, actually let me just try to place this family in a project so if i create a project and i'll load this family into the project and then we can just so basically you can you just need to place two point anywhere so one two and it will create a brick uh, screen for you so let's go to 3d view and then that's it okay and of course you can still adjust so the height the height here and if you want to adjust the width so you need to see this these two points these are adaptive points so you can t tab select and then you will see this and then you can just drag it or even you can uh, i'm not sure if you can drag it up oh <laughs> that's nice <laughs> yeah that's it um, okay, so um, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we'll continue, or the day after, uh, we'll continue this family. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.